Ever wondered how you can have a lush garden in a small urban space? Well, raised bed gardening might just be your answer. Raised bed gardening is a revolutionary method that involves growing plants in soil that's elevated above the ground, usually enclosed by a frame. This frame could be made from a variety of materials like wood, stone, or even concrete blocks. It's a game changer for small spaces like balconies and patios where every inch counts, allowing for a concentrated and efficient use of space. Now, you might be wondering, why raised bed gardening? What does it offer that traditional gardening does not? Well, let's talk about some of the many benefits that make this method a favorite among urban gardeners. Firstly, it offers improved soil conditions. Raised beds allow for better soil amendment and drainage. This means your plants get to enjoy the ideal growing conditions, leading to healthier and more vibrant growth. Secondly, raised bed gardening enhances accessibility. By bringing the soil level closer to you, it reduces the need for constant bending and kneeling. This makes gardening more accessible for everyone, including individuals with mobility issues. Thirdly, raised beds are a great tool for pest and weed control. The elevation and defined boundaries can deter pests and minimize weed growth, keeping your garden looking neat and tidy. And lastly, raised bed gardening can extend your growing season. The soil in raised beds warms up faster in the spring and retains warmth longer into the fall, giving your plants more time to grow and thrive. So whether you're a seasoned gardener looking to try something new or a green-thumbed novice starting your first garden, Raised bed gardening can make your dream of having a lush garden oasis a reality, irrespective of how small your space might be. It's not just a gardening method. It's a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of urban gardeners. So, are you ready to transform your small space into a productive garden paradise? Let's dig into the details in the next part of this series. The first step to setting up your raised bed garden is selecting the ideal location and deciding on the size. The location you choose can make or break your gardening endeavors. Most vegetables and flowers are sun lovers, thriving with six to eight hours of direct sunlight each day. So seek out a spot in your space that's generously bathed in sunlight. Now let's talk size. The dimensions of your raised bed can vary based on your space and needs. However, a popular choice is a four by four foot bed. This size allows easy reach to the center of the bed from all sides, ensuring all your plants get the attention they need. But don't let this standard size limit your creativity. You can tailor your raised bed size to fit your unique space and gardening ambitions. Remember, the success of your garden often begins with the right location and size. Once you've chosen your location and size, it's time to gather your materials. The frame of your raised bed is the backbone of your garden, and a variety of materials can be used to construct it. Untreated cedar or redwood are popular choices due to their durability and resistance to rot. If you're looking for more budget-friendly or sustainable options, recycled materials like bricks, cinder blocks, or galvanized steel are also excellent alternatives. However, it's crucial to avoid chemically treated woods. While these might promise longevity, they can leach harmful chemicals into your soil, jeopardizing the health of your plants and potentially contaminating your vegetables. Remember, the goal is to create a safe and nurturing environment for your plants to flourish. Choosing the right materials is not just about aesthetics or durability. It's about ensuring the health and productivity of your garden. Choosing the right materials sets the foundation for a successful raised bed garden. Next, let's talk about the lifeblood of your garden, the soil and compost. The soil is where your plants draw their sustenance, and it's crucial to give them a rich and nourishing environment. For your raised bed garden, we recommend a balanced blend of high-quality garden soil and compost. Why this mix, you ask? Well, garden soil provides a sturdy structure for your plant roots to anchor themselves, while compost enriches the soil with vital nutrients your plants need to thrive. Compost is also a wonderful way to recycle organic waste turning kitchen scraps and yard trimmings into a nutrient powerhouse for your garden. When filling your raised bed, aim for a ratio of about three parts garden soil to one part compost. This blend will ensure an optimal balance of structure, nutrients, and moisture retention to support healthy plant growth. 
Remember, quality soil and compost are the key ingredients to a flourishing raised bed garden. Now that your raised bed is ready, it's time to select and arrange your plants. In the world of raised bed gardening, especially in small spaces, plant choice is paramount. The goal is to maximize yield while minimizing space, so compact or dwarf varieties of vegetables and flowers are your best bet. These plants have been bred to take up less room while still delivering bountiful harvests. From dwarf sunflowers that add a splash of color to compact tomato varieties that are perfect for salads, your options are plentiful. But don't just think horizontally, consider the vertical space as well. Climbing plants such as peas, beans, and cucumbers, or vining flowers like morning glories and sweet peas, can be trained up trellises or stakes. This way, you add another dimension to your garden, increasing your yield without demanding more ground space. Another strategy to maximize space is interplanting. This involves growing two or more types of plants together in a way that they complement each other. A classic example is planting fast-growing radishes next to slower-growing carrots. The radishes will be ready to harvest before the carrots need more room to grow. This not only optimizes space, but can also help deter pests, as different plants can throw off the scent trail that many pests use to find their preferred food. Choosing the right plants for your garden is a bit like solving a puzzle. You need to consider the needs of each plant, including sunlight, soil, and water requirements, but also how they'll interact with each other. It's a delicate balancing act that can take some trial and error, but the rewards are well worth it. Consider also adding some pollinator-friendly plants. These will attract bees, butterflies, and other beneficial insects, helping to ensure your vegetables get pollinated and your garden stays healthy. By making smart choices with your plant selection and arrangement, you can make the most out of your small space. Remember, even the smallest garden can yield a surprisingly large harvest with a little planning and creativity. Happy gardening. Your garden is ready to grow, but first, let's discuss maintenance and care. Taking care of a raised bed garden requires a keen eye and some consistent effort, but the rewards are well worth it. Let's start with watering. Regular watering is crucial, especially during those hot, dry periods. Keep in mind that raised beds can dry out more quickly than in-ground gardens, so you may need to water more often. A drip irrigation system or soaker hoses can be an efficient way to ensure consistent moisture levels. They deliver water directly to the plant roots, reducing water wastage and preventing moisture from settling on the leaves, which can lead to disease. Next, let's talk about mulching. Mulching with straw or shredded leaves can be a game changer for your raised bed garden. Not only does it help retain soil moisture, but it also suppresses weeds and regulates soil temperature. It's like giving your garden a protective blanket, keeping it cozy and comfortable. Now onto pest and disease monitoring. Regular checks for pests and diseases can help you catch any potential issues early before they become a major problem. Look out for signs of damage on your plants, like chewed leaves or discolored spots. And remember, not all bugs are bad. Many insects like ladybugs and spiders are natural predators that can help keep harmful pests at bay. If you do encounter pests, don't panic. Consider organic pest control methods, such as companion planting, this involves planting certain plants together to deter pests. For example, marigolds are known to repel nematodes and aphids and can be a colorful addition to your garden. In conclusion, the key to a thriving raised bed garden is consistent care and attention. Regular watering, mulching, and monitoring for pests and diseases will keep your garden healthy and productive. And remember, organic pest control methods can help maintain a healthy garden ecosystem. With the right maintenance and care, your raised bed garden can thrive and produce a bountiful harvest. Mastering raised bed gardening in small spaces is a journey of learning and growth. We've explored the ins and outs of this innovative gardening approach, from understanding its fundamental principles to reaping its myriad benefits. We've learned that the perfect raised bed garden begins with a suitable location and size, followed by choosing durable materials for the frame. We discovered the importance of filling the bed with a nourishing blend of garden soil and compost, and the art of selecting and arranging plants for maximum yield and beauty. 
Finally, we've discussed essential maintenance and care practices, ensuring our garden thrives throughout the seasons. This journey, while filled with challenges, leads to a rewarding destination, a lush, productive garden oasis nestled right in your urban space. With these steps, you can transform even the smallest of spaces into a lush, productive garden oasis. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks.